Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Every question that y'all ask, we're going to bring you out of the scripture. We're not going to talk our own words. That's not what God told us to do. He tells us to teach his word. When a man speaks a lot, that means he don't know the Bible. Don't read the Bible, you go crazy. The only interracial marriage ever on the earth is if you'd marry an alien. Nuts! The fruit cake. Oh God! Bless God, let's go! Woo! I was full of the devil. Elvira! I don't care. How you doing, mom? Full of the devil, man. Shut up, devil. He's in the zone. He is in the zone. We've been believing God for a baby, but it's been years and years and we're not getting one. I told that same woman, I said, your problem is you get depressed when the time of the month comes around, don't you? Yeah. I was full of the devil, man. Hell, Myra. Getting high. It's called living in the faith zone. I'm in the zone tonight. Living in the faith zone. Why do some people go to church on Sundays and y'all do it like on Saturday? Uh, it's not the same. Okay. Uh, so in slavery, give me the wrong side, but in slavery, we was taught to go to church on Sundays. Stripes. That nigga that don't obey his Lord, that's his master, do you see? That there nigga shall be beaten with many stripes. Now many signifies a great many. Forty, a hundred, a hundred and fifty lashes. That's scripture. What happened was the slave master, or the slave massa, because we never call him master. Massa is a Hebrew word, M-A-S-S-A. -S -S -A. It's a Hebrew word that means oppressor. That's what we was calling him. We was calling him massa. We was never saying master. So we call him massa because we were Hebrews. Okay, so we was calling him the oppressor. But the reason why we was going on Sunday is because they taught us to do that. But the Bible teaches us to go on Saturday. But Genesis chapter two and verse all the way to the beginning, yep. Okay, and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. How many days did it take the Most High to create the earth? Seven days, right? How many days in a week? Seven days. What's the first day on every calendar? Um, it is Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the calendar, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, mm -hmm. and all the host of them. And on the seventh day... And on what? On the seventh day... On the seventh day, which would be what day? Saturday. 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 Mm -hmm. Go ahead. God ended his work mm -hmm. which he had made. Mm -hmm. And he rested on the seventh day mm -hmm. from all his work mm -hmm. which he had made. Go ahead. And God blessed the seventh day mm -hmm. and sanctified. And did what? And sanctified. And cleansed it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Because that in it he had rested from all his work mm -hmm. which God created and made. Okay, now you know what the seventh day is called today? The Sabbath. Sabbath tone. Sabbath tone means seven. The seventh day is the Sabbath day. That's the holy day that we're supposed to be celebrating according to the Bible. I got a question right back. Go ahead. Y'all, uh, y'all say y'all, y'all deal with Christ, right? Yes, sir. So, I, so we are like, say for example, us right here, we, we like do like activities like Christmas. We celebrate the type of stuff. Why y'all, why y'all do that if y'all, if y'all, if y'all with Christ? Now, give me Jeremiah. Let's talk about Christmas. You asked about Christmas in the Bible. Right. Okay, we're going to explain. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 1. One of my favorite movies back in the day used to be Home Alone, right? Mm -hmm. What did he do when he went out there? 
He, he, celebrated he celebrated Christmas, right? But what did he do? He went out there to do what? Chop down a what? A tree. A tree. And what did he do when he brought that tree in? Uh, decorated. He decorated, right? Dad, can you come here and help me? Read this. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. He Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. O house of Israel. There we go again. We keep hearing Israel. We don't hear no other nations but Israel. From uh, Genesis all the way to Revelation, all we hear about is Israel. So when we get this understanding of other nations, I don't understand where that comes from. That comes from the curses. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So learn not the way of the heathen meaning what? What we're about to read about is a heathen custom. Okay? Heathen means other nations. That's what heathen means. Go ahead. Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, mm -hmm. for the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh -huh. Or for, lies. Go ahead. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Uh -huh. The workmen of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers that it move not. Y'all see that? So what is that talking about? That's talking about Christmas. It's telling you to learn not the way of the heathen. That's telling you not to keep Christmas. It's that simple. That's why we don't keep it. Okay. Numbers 15. See, when a question gets asked, what we have to do? Go to the Bible. We don't have to talk. We got to go straight to the scripture. Why do we wear it? Numbers 15. They know where to go because we've been studying in this Bible. Go ahead. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? The children of Israel. Again, he's speaking only to the children of Israel. Go ahead. And bid them uh -huh. that they make them fringes. That they make what? Fringes. That's what these are, fringes. Go ahead. <coughs> In the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations. That means forever. Go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. That's why you always say a blue ribbon. We always wore fringes. Matter of fact, give me the one in Matthew where Christ wore fringes. <coughs> Jesus Christ himself wore fringes. <laughs> Matthew 14, verse 36. Go ahead. So let's talk about Jesus Christ. You got him? Get him. All I need is him out of Go ahead. And besought him. And who? Besought him uh -huh. that they might only... And the reason why we're doing this because some people might say, well, that's Old Testament. Well, let's see what Jesus Christ himself did. Go ahead. And besought him... That they might only touch the hem of his garment. Like do what? That they might only touch the hem of his garment. Only touch the hem or the border of his garment. Now let's see what that hem is. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Hem of garment. Fringes. Say that again. Fringes. Y'all see that? So what did Christ have on? Fringes. The hem of his garment is fringes. So Christ was wearing fringes. We wear fringes. Paul wore fringes. James chapter 4 verse 17. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good. So what is good? What is good is the laws of God. If you know that you're not supposed to wear those pants. If you know that you're supposed to have your head covered when the Bible come out. Read. And doeth it not. And you don't do it. To him it is sin. It is sin. So it's always going to be sin. Because if it wasn't no sin, guess what? We wouldn't have to worry about judgment day. Right. We can go out here and do whatever we want to do. Right. This is that simple. I know yeah. Now, we had certain curses that we didn't do what he told us to do. Get 64. You got it? Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth. Say again. And the Lord shall scatter thee. He shall do what? Shall scatter thee. He shall scatter thee. Go ahead. Among all people. It's 434. Go ahead. Among all people. Among all people. From the one end of the earth. From one end of the earth, where we was at in Jerusalem. Go ahead. Even unto the other. And to the other end of the earth. Now, when you look at Jerusalem, where that's at? In Africa. Where they say we all come from? Africa. From Africa. That's true. That's very true. We do all come from Africa. Not in the Middle East, but we come up from the Northeast of Africa. That's where Jerusalem is, right? So we say, I'm going to scatter you from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. <coughs> From the one from the one end of the earth even unto the other, uh -huh. and there thou shalt serve other gods. And there shall do what? Thou shalt serve other gods. Well, let's see what those other gods are. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Neither thou who? Neither thou nor thy fathers our have fathers, known. Our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They didn't know these gods. And it's talking to us. It's talking to the Israelites that was in the wilderness right after Egypt. This is Moses talking to us, right? Go ahead. 
even wood. What's that? Even wood. When you look at a cross. Most of us have crosses. I even got one on my arm when I was in Christianity. Why we put that on there? Because it represents who? God. We think it represents Christ. Right. But it's a wooden cross, right? So he just tell, he's telling us that we're going to serve Christianity to represent it. And now, said the Lord that formed me from the womb. That formed me from where? From the womb. So the Lord formed us. Not your mother, not your father, but the Lord formed us. Go ahead. To be his servant. To be what? To be his servant. So he formed a certain people to be his servant. Go ahead. To bring Jacob again to him. To bring what? Bring Jacob again to him. Now when you look at Genesis, you will see where Adam made a mistake with him and his wife Eve, right? So through Adam came a lineage. That's what our job is to teach on that lineage. Who that who comes from that lineage. Okay, so he said to bring Jacob again unto him. Go ahead. Though Israel be not gathered. Because today Israel's not gathered. Today we don't know who Israel is, according to what the so-called white man says. Okay, but when we get y'all this next scripture, you're gonna see why we know who Israel is today. Go ahead. Yet shall I be glorious uh -huh. in the eyes of the Lord. Well, why are we going to be glorious? Because today we're going to stand up and fight and say, you know what? We are the true Jews of the Bible. We are the true Israelites according to the Bible. That's Go right. ahead. And my God shall be my strength. And who? And my God shall be my strength. And God is always our strength to teach our people. Isaiah, Isaiah 30. Okay. chapter 30 okay. and okay. verse 20. Mm -hmm. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, did what? and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, when you look at the people today, it's only a certain amount of people that's going through adversity, going through struggles, going through trials and tribulations. It's only a certain amount of people that go through that since day one. Go ahead. And the water of affliction, uh -huh. yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a... Who? Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Because at one time, it was a certain time where only teachers was teaching a certain amount of people. Now when you look across the world, you see teachers teaching all over the world, teaching certain people, certain things, and to a special people. Okay, go ahead. But thine eyes, but thine what? Thine eyes, they all have eyes, go ahead. Shall see thy teachers. But your eyes gonna see those teachers. You're gonna remember that, hold up, these guys are different than what we seen out from Mexico. These guys are different than what we seen Martin Luther King Jr. doing, than what we seen Gandhi doing. These guys are different, because these real teachers are thus said the Lord, the ones that teach the Bible. Go ahead. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, and saying, word. and thine ears, but your ears gonna what? shall hear a word behind thee, uh -huh. saying. Now the reason why I say the ears are going to hear a word behind thee, because we haven't heard this in so long. So we hear, when we see Israelites teaching on the street, <coughs> and we want right by them. We say, okay, all they're doing is trying to argue and fight. They're not going to take the time to do what we're doing today. So now when y'all walk by the Israelites, Lord's will, y'all can hear it and say, hold up. No, I, I, I sat down with them. They took the time to teach with me. So I can't just say that they just out here to yell and, and, and say, no, be racist and whatnot. So now it's like that ears are not going to be walking behind you anymore. But go ahead. This is the way. Mm -hmm. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Go ahead. When ye turn to the right hand mm -hmm. and when ye turn to the left. Mm -hmm. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt say unto it, Get thee hence. Get thee hence, or get thee away from me. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.